You know, I remember when I first opened up this channel. It was five years ago, March 8th, 2012, right? And I think the second video I did was remembering Biggie Small 15 years after his passing. And here we are 20 years later, 20 years after his passing, five years after I did that video. And um, didn't even think I'd still be doing YouTube. Didn't think I would have this many subscribers. And I thank everybody who subscribed to me, whether you agree with me or not, you know, on issues. I thank the people who are loyal uh, subscribers who don't talk shit about me behind my back. But um, the topic, of course, is Biggie Smalls. And I, this is not going to be a biographical piece. There's nothing I can tell you about Biggie that you guys don't already know. All right? Um... I think the first time that I saw him, even though I didn't really know who he was at the time, was in a video with Supercat, Puff Daddy, or P. Diddy now, and Big. And it was uh, Dolly Dolly My Baby. You know, the junk, uh, Dolly 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 My Baby. You know, Biggie had the junk, you know, I love it when you call me Big Pop, the show stop, the rhyme drop. You know, like, I'm like, okay. You know, it was a little bit different. And, um, like I said, I didn't really know who he was. You know what I'm saying? Um, then I remember seeing, this might have been earlier, in the Source magazine, there was a section called, oh my God, was it called Unsigned Hype? Tell us the name of it. And it was a feature of him. And he was talking about, this is before Biggie blew up. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it was called, uh, I think it was called Unsigned Hype. And it was talking about him in his little interview. And um, talking about his aspirations of being a rap artist. And I think it was when I was in eighth grade. That's when I really remember Biggie blowing up. Because that's when I believe Ready to Die dropped. And everybody kept talking about that album. And I remember seeing, you know, what he looked like then. And I said, oh, okay, that's that guy. I remember him. And it, he, I instantly liked him because I liked his personality when he rhymed. Um, he just had a, a flow. To this day, I, I think he had the best flow of a herbal rapper. It's debatable whether he's the greatest lyricist of all time. I think he is. Some people might say his other rappers. But his lyricism, his flow, is second to none. It still is to this day, in my opinion. I, I've ranked Tupac the greatest rapper now. I used to say it was Biggie, but I have to look at everything. And I and I, and I see that I think it's Tupac Shakur is the greatest rapper of all time. But I still will say that I don't think that Tupac can hold a candle to Biggie as far as lyric for lyric. But Tupac's delivery elevated his relatively average rhyme skills and his overall impact on rap because he transcended rap. He's such an inspirational figure and such an influential figure that, you know, I think he, that can't be surpassed by anybody. But going back to Biggie, it was interesting, too, because, you know, he had a certain look. He was dark-skinned. He was heavy, real heavy set, and got bigger over time. 300 to 350-pound dude. Uh, considered not very attractive. But he was this huge rap star. And... I can relate to that because I'm a big dude, dark skin. Um, I guess, you know what I'm saying, in, in white America's eyes, I'm not a marquee idol. But I've grown to have some respect on YouTube for, I guess, per minute, you know, uh, for putting out historical context and content, whether uh, you agree with it or not. 
But Biggie was the headliner, man, when it came to Bad Boy. Um, and for a short period of time, for about two years, Bad Boy ruled the East Coast. Now, their only, of course, their only rival was on the West Coast. And that, while it was tantalizing at first, man, it, it, it got really out of hand. You know, the East Coast, West Coast thing. I don't have to tell you guys that. Those of you who remember it know it. Those of you who are historians were too young at the time know about it now. It, it got really out of hand, man. And um, that could have been squashed. It could have been squashed so so much e uh, earlier than it was. It shouldn't have led to bloodshed, okay? But it got really personal, and it went beyond just the the two rappers that are primarily associated with it. It went beyond the two uh, labels associated with it. It actually went to a per, almost a near permanent beef between individuals who lived on the East Coast, individuals on the West Coast, those who liked uh, Big E or those who liked Tupac. I mean, it was ridiculous. It even got to a point, man, where I remember after Tupac died, I remember being at a party and I remember voicing that I wasn't a big Tupac fan. And I actually had dudes that wanted to fight me because I said that. And that's when I thought to myself, number one, I'm in Virginia. What the fuck are you doing being mad about that? About that anyway, you know, we're not in California. And number two, even if I didn't like Tupac, what the fuck does that got to do with you? you? Are you related to him? No. I didn't say I like him as a person. I didn't like him as, a, as an artist at the time. But my opinion has changed. I mean, it got really fucking out of hand, man. But I guess even after Tupac died, the thought for most people was, well, we still got Biggie. You know what I'm saying? We still got Biggie. This is the days before the internet really exploded. The internet was really in its extreme infancy stages at that time. There weren't really, it was nothing like how it is now, okay? Didn't really have websites that would go into intricate, intricate detail about this and that and other. So we didn't know about certain things until after the Rampart scandal and, you know, uh, things that Puffy's been accused of since then, things that Suge Knight have been accused of, all these different conspiracy theories and all these little details. None of that shit was really known by then. But I always remember where I was March 9th, 1997. Right. It was a Sunday. And I remember looking forward to a Bulls Knicks game coming in the afternoon, late the afternoon. And uh, I still say that ninety seven Knicks team could have could have now, could have beaten the Chicago Bulls team in a seven game series. I think they could have had they not um, been on the short end of their suspension in the playoffs against the Miami Heat, where they blew a 3-1 lead, mostly primarily because of the suspension. Uh, the players that they had to sit down were unfavorable for them. Now, I might do a video, too, about uh, the Miami Heat and Knicks and how I thought that Knicks team was superior, even though, um, well, I, I'll get into that later on, you know what I'm saying? I think there's a lot of discrepancies and a lot of false things I'm seeing out there as far as that Knicks team and in, 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 in comparison to teams. But anyway, um, I remember being, you know, hyped up, waking up, thinking, you know, okay, I'm going to see that game, whatever, right? And then I turn on MTV, and it's an old spring break uh, concert being given by Notorious B.I.G. And scrolling across the screen was 
The rapper Christopher Wallace, a.k.a. Notorious B.I.G., was shot and killed last night in Los Angeles. Yada, 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 yada. He was 24 years old. Details are emerging, but breaking news, he was shot and yada, yada. And I was absolutely devastated. Absolutely devastated. I remember my brother was kind of upset, man. It was like, why the fuck did he go out there? Why the fuck did he go out there, knowing how hot it is out there, how much they don't like him out there? And uh, it was a fucked up day, man, for hip hop. And then the Knicks beat the Bulls. It was a fucked up day. But his uh, absence, as well as Tupac's, is still missed to this day. Um, I get really irritated when I see people say shit like, well, in today's rap. Like, come on, man. Like, what, what, what? You know, like, in today's rap, would they be, you know, they ain't shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, yeah, that. I mean, whatever, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm to the point now, I'm going to stop, like, I'm seriously thinking about no longer making videos, giving opinions to why I think certain uh, personalities or certain uh, athletes or whatever would flourish in today's game because for some reason everything gets interpreted as hating or I'm an old dude or whatever, man. So um, I might just start reporting the news, you know, just objectively um, and doing historical videos because people on YouTube try to bait you into doing like uh, back and back and forth to help out their channels. You know, I've seen other channels in the past who are much larger than me fall for that. I'm not doing it anymore. Um, I'm not going to keep arguing back and forth about shit that can't be proven anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm no longer doing that. But, this video is about Biggie and remembering him. And tell me what you guys think. And remember about Notorious B.I.G.